so yes, let's jump into the QNT quant coverage. And shout out to this guy. He is construction trader.east. So he says there's only one reason why you see QNT name here, and that is once the digital pound is created, it will be fully interoperable via quant overledger network. Now, I did drop in on Crypto Smith uh, on his Saturday live stream. And, you know, there's things that were brought up about Ripple um, and shout out to Daniel Gayton. He brought up some things in, in regards to, you know, hey, man, there's a quant connection when it comes to this whole thing with, you know, CBDCs. They're trying to draw the quant connection. And then I, you know, dropped them uh, a, a chat, not super chat, but, you know, a comment. And I said, yeah, you'll find that there's definitely is a connection. You know, look up the whole th research that we done a while ago in regards to MIT, Digital Pound Foundation. Uh, was it the New York Federal Reserve? You will definitely come to the conclusion that you know there's connection. So um, it states, yeah. And I'll reiterate this. Sorry. There's only one reason why you see QNT name here, and that is once the digital pound is created, it will be fully interoperable via quant overledger network. Very true. Soon, these QNT tokens are gonna become very scarce and expensive. Hence, why I was mentioning the whole thing about scarcity earlier. Now, look at this. All right, and we won't read all of this. Right. Um, if anything, I'll blow this up a little bit more. Um, give me a second. So copy image address. Because I want I really want to pound this home for just a brief bit. All right. So as we know, the Digital Pound Foundation is an independent organization that was incorporated on June 22nd of 2021 to work with a variety of stakeholders and participants towards the implementation of a well-designed digital pound and an effective and diverse ecosystem for new forms of digital money. Now, of course, there's this whole thing about their goal, and you can look more into that. Let's get into the juicy stuff. As you go further down, you will see right here, the originating members of the group include some of these people here, Jeremy Wilson, right, and so on. But look what it says here. Foundation and associate members include Accenture, Avalanche, Billing Group, Clifford Chance, CGI, Electronium, Quant, and even Ripple. How cool is that? You understand this. Gilbert Verde is part of the Digital Power Foundation. And if anything, you know, we have to point out some of these things, right? So, you know, here's a little bit more of a reiteration of that. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this image. So this comes from About Us Digital Pound Foundation. I mean, anybody can go to this, right? Um, there it is. Scroll down. Gilbert Verdian, founder and CEO of Quant's board director for the Digital Pound Foundation. All right? Cool stuff. Um, and hold on a second. Um, like this guy, Quant, a giant, a, a quiet giant. This other guy, it clearly says Ripple. And guess what, my friend? Nothing against this guy. Hello? Hello? I hate saying that, but hello, it says both Quant and Ripple. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, why mention Quant? Maybe because, as Crypto Smith has mentioned, the plumbing, right? Does it really matter when you buy the house or buy the, I don't know, the shopping plaza, the mall, or whatever the case be? Maybe you're the BlackRock. You're going to buy a whole freaking mall, right? you got to buy the Mall of America, does BlackRock really care about who, what kind of tools were used? You know, what, you know, was, was it Stanley tools? You know, I'm Mr. Stanley. Was it Stanley tools that they used? Was it craftsman tools that they used? You know, what kind of PVC piping did they use here? Who cares? It connected it all. That's the key thing. Boom. Quant connection. All right. What about for the payment rails? The Ripple connection. It's not rocket science. But for some reason, when it comes to all this stuff going to the moon and beyond, people want to make it more technical. Do we really need to make it that much more technical? No. All we do is connect the dots, draw our own conclusions, use common sense.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more information on the ISO 222 compliant tokens and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are aware of the new videos when they come up. Max and I cover these ISOs and we also have a live show every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again and we will see you on the next video.